Now let's meet another hormone. We met the cholecystokinin, abbreviated as CCK, during our first lecture. Um, CCK is a hormone that is secreted by intestinal eye cells. And these cells are located more in the proximal region of the small intestine, so closer to the beginning of the small intestine in the duodenum. And uh, CCK is going to be secreted in response to fat and protein in the small intestine. So as soon as these big macronutrients have arrived, CCK is going to secrete is going to be secreted, and CCK is going to help prep the accessory organs to secrete their cocktails of enzymes and bile to help us digest those macronutrients. So CCK is going to go stimulate the pancreas to release its whole cocktail of digestive enzymes. CCK is also going to stimulate the gallbladder to release a whole bunch of bile so that we can emulsify that fat that has come in and actually digest it. Now, um, CCK is also going to have some other roles in regulating food intake, but this is more uh, locally that it will impact. So first of all, CCK is going to inhibit the stomach from secreting any more ghrelin. And that kind of makes sense because remember that ghrelin is only being secreted when, um, when we are not actively digesting any food. Um, so once the food has made it into the duodenum, then CCK can go tell the stomach, hey, stop secreting ghrelin, we don't need that anymore. Um, CCK is also going to stimulate the latter portions of the intestine to start secreting PYY. Um, so it's going, and remember we just talked about PYY and how PYY is an anorexigenic hormone. And then additionally, CCK is going to bind to chemoreceptors on the vagus nerve and stimulate the vagal afferents to send signals up to the NTS in the hindbrain to induce satiety. So CCK is acting, oops. CCK is acting primarily um, uh, through the vagus nerve to stimulate satiety that way. And then additionally, CCK is going to influence the secretion of other hormones that also have um, anorexigenic properties and it will inhibit ghrelin hormones which have the orexigenic properties.